Tonight, the sheriff's office held a town hall meeting where they answered questions from neighbors about this rash of burglaries and thefts. Now, the sheriff says the majority of these incidents are unlocked cars in Toro Park and that there's a lot that people can do to, pre to prevent more of these thefts. The most common theme is unlocked cars. So I think uh, we wouldn't see such the big numbers of thefts if people would, number one, lock their cars, uh, two, take valuables out of the car. And the numbers say it all. 175 burglaries and thefts total this year in Toro Park, which is already above last year's total for the whole year. And 128 of those were thefts, meaning property was stolen out of unlocked cars. The other 47 were burglaries, meaning homes were actually broken into in those instances. Now with that in mind, some neighbors at the meeting took ownership of the problem. It's kind of embarrassing almost to have 129 people in our small neighborhood get ripped off. Sheriff Bernal says that on their end, they have a deputy patrolling Toro Park in Las Palmas 24 hours a day. He added that he wishes his office could do more, but that his understaffing holds them back. He says those low staffing numbers forces his office to be more reactive rather than proactive. If we were fully staffed where, you know, where I'd like to be, you know, if we if we had a thousand cops, you know, we we couldn't possibly be, it's a big county, we couldn't possibly be everywhere at one time. So we're going to see even departments that are fully staffed see spikes in crimes in certain areas at certain times. Bottom line, the message is lock your cars and call in suspicious vehicles or people in the neighborhood, which neighbors are listening to. Many of them are looking into surveillance cameras and new security systems. Now my wife's talking about, let's get a, a you know, system put in the house, let's put some cameras up. So. I guess we probably will. Now, Toro Park does have a neighborhood watch alert system. Whether it's a missing kitten or a home burglary, the whole neighborhood gets an alert about it. Dan. All right. Thank you very much, Bryn. The Sheriff's Department has also made a few arrests in those burglary and theft cases and recovered some of the stolen property. Salinas Police Chief's assault rifle, however, remains missing.